What's up boys, it's Jose Zaniga and today marks week 3 of our fitness series and this whole journey we're doing for you guys and here is our weigh in before we get started. So I, as you see here, have gained 1.6 pounds since we first started so I'm very actually happy with that. I think I'm gaining weight at a very healthy rate and Juan is still killing it. He's at 182 so in total he's actually lost 5.4 pounds. So needless to say, it's only been the first quarter and so far we've seen really good results so i can't wait to see what the 12 weeks hold and yes we're taking progress pictures so at the end of the 12 weeks we're going to show you the whole process which i think is going to be super cool but it brings me to today's video which i thought would be cool to share some of the tips that he's doing to shred some of that body fat now one thing that i really recommend for you guys is to get yourself a body weight skill while this isn't an end all be all it's a good way to mark your progress and see how good you're progressing because sometimes just looking at the mirror won't cut it when it's those micro movements for me it's been only 1.6 pounds so when i can see it in the scale i know i'm doing good and i'll keep up with that diet so that's why it's good and on top of that this specific scale has even more information such as your body weight your muscle percentage your percentage of water weight so it has a lot of useful information that you can again use to your knowledge to help gauge your progress if you guys want to check out that scale of course there's a special discount code for you guys that makes it super affordable i'm gonna have it linked below so you guys can check it out now let's get into these tips the first tip to shred body fat is to change your lifestyle not just join a program you see, because when you join a program, it's almost like you're seeing it an end at which when you end it, it's usually when people just fall back to their old habits and regain their weight or lose their gains that they made through that program. So that's not the mentality you want to go for. Instead, you want to change your lifestyle. You change your mentality, you live a healthier lifestyle. So when you see our routine, which I have that PDF down there, it's completely free for you guys. Those are just 12 weeks to jumpstart you into that healthy lifestyle. It's a basic beginner routine for guys that have no idea about fitness that includes your lifting and your diet so you can jumpstart your new lifestyle where you have a diet plan that is comfortable that you can live with and an exercise routine that progressively challenges you. This is to help jumpstart you into this new healthy lifestyle, but don't just see it as an end goal, all right? 12 weeks are done, let me get back to where I was. Number two to burn body fat is to be in a caloric deficit. You essentially wanna consume less calories than you're burning. Yeah, I know, it sounds really simple. However, the key is that you want to do this while still getting your nutrients, meaning you're not gonna starve yourself and go on a 10 week water and lemon cleansing diet. You want to burn your fat, but keep your muscle and keep growing that muscle. And for that, again, check that PDF where it details more in depth that whole diet aspect and how many calories you should be consuming for your body frame and overall lifestyle. Number three, eat more fat. Healthy fats, that is. Because when people think, oh, I need to burn this fat out, they also think, I need to take away all my fats. But that's not completely the case. You want to leave in there some healthy fats, such as your avocados, your fish, your nuts your olive oil, your egg yolks. Consuming these healthy fats will help you lose fat, build muscle, and recover faster from your workout. Another added benefit is that healthy fats tend to take longer to digest in your stomach, leaving you more satisfied and avoiding craving. Which that idea brings me to number four. A huge problem with people that are overweight is that they obviously they keep intaking calories, they keep consuming food. You want to suppress your hunger and avoid cravings. And one thing that does that, drink water. Water has tons of health benefits, like more than you can think of. Water is a great hunger suppressant if you're taking the quantities that you should be taking every day, and it will help you avoid intaking more calories than what you should be eating on a daily basis. So a good tip is to carry a, a bottle of water and on average for a grown man, fill it up anywhere from eight to 10 times a day. Obviously it varies upon how much you weigh and stuff like that, but that's pretty much a good average on how much water you should be intake. Number five is to actually train with weights or resistance training. And in a little bit, you can stay at the end of the video and I'm gonna walk you through our pull workout that we did for this week. But a common misconception with the average person that doesn't weight train is that if you wanna lose fat, 
then you better get out and jog 10 miles or do some crazy amount of cardio. But reality is that weight training or resistance training increases calorie burn for up to 39 hours after you're done working out. On top of that, the more muscle you build, the more calories your body burns. So that's basically it. Those are five things that you could be doing to burn more body fat. Now I wanna walk you through really quickly the pull workout that we did for this week. If in case you are following along, we started with a compound movement and we did five sets of five with the sumo deadlift. Now for any of these workouts, if you never know what what how the movement goes or just proper form, I always recommend you go online and check out experts that can help you show you how to develop proper form and obviously work on it over time. You, This isn't something you're gonna get overnight, but as long as you're looking online how to develop proper form and practicing, you're slowly gonna get there. Then the second movement we moved on to were upright rows. Again, we did five sets with five reps each set and we maintained the weight. So once we chose a weight, we kept that weight, we moved the weight slowly and controlled. That's what you want with this program slow and controlled and really increase that mind muscle connection. The third movement was a little bit tougher, especially if you're a beginner, but these are weighted chin-ups. If you cannot do weighted chin-ups, obviously just do body weight. And if you can't do body weight, then there are some machines that help you. This is a great pull workout. And if you can do weighted and challenge yourself a bit, I really recommend you do so. Again, this is a five by five, really great workout that works your whole back and your bicep. And finally, to end it off, we targeted our biceps with the preacher curl. This one was four sets with eight to 12 reps. And as the program states, we went with the light weight. Again, focus on controlling and focusing on that mind muscle connection it's a great movement to finish off your biceps because trust me by the end of this they're gonna be completely done so that's it for today guys see you next time